This is the panel on the challenges of global security as related to the South Caucasus region. We're very close to the Turkish border. We're in the Autonomous Republic of Ajara, which is part of Georgia. I was asked to moderate one of the panels because I'm fairly well known in the region and seen as someone who's more or less neutral. I never planned on being in this region that long. I did study Russian, of course, at Michigan State, and I have a degree in Russian language and literature as well as a degree in international relations. Michigan State was the only college which had a dedicated program in international relations. And Michigan State started something called James Madison College, which is a residential college within the university. Very small classes and a dedicated outline program to international relations in terms of diplomacy, in terms of individual areas of the world, in terms of international development. It was a truly unique program which didn't exist at many other universities. When I was an undergraduate, the university went on a mission of actually being internationally focused and has given the university a unique advantage. I actually planned on coming for a short period of time and then returning to graduate school in the United States. I was living in Moscow at the time. I was then asked if I would come to this region and start a news bureau for Reuters, where I ended up being the bureau chief for this region for eight years. I had planned on staying in this region for eight months. I still feel like I'm from the United States. I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm not a citizen of any other country. Um, and I still feel like I'm from, from Michigan. But definitely my sense of um, identity has been watered down, and I feel more like a person who sort of belongs everywhere. I'm also a published author, and I look at that as my other job and my hobby. But having a body of knowledge like this is something which sort of leads one naturally to stay in the business, if you would like. It's very difficult to strike a professional balance, but I like so much what I'm engaged in and feel so little that it feels like work. I mean, it really does not feel like work. I think the best thing that you can do is represent your university in a personal capacity, and that's basically trying to be some sort of role model or making sure that people know that you're from Michigan State and just how unique this place is. It fits in with a Spartan motif as well, when you think about the, no the notion of a Spartan, which is well, a people or people who lived um, fairly frugally, but nonetheless were known for victory and known for winning. There was never a plan, to be honest, and you do end up with a body of knowledge, which few people have, and I'm very grateful to Michigan State for helping this process through all of these years, both in my undergraduate education and when I returned as a visiting scholar.